So do you know what is better than a 2022 C8R in hypersonic gray? How about two? C8Rs in hypersonic gray. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog, thanks for pressing play. As you saw there in the beginning, yes, we are here with two C8Rs that are actually my spec. Let me explain. All right guys, so yes, I am in a garage that can only be described as every car guy's dream. Sure enough, we have a Lamborghini Huracan Evo sitting right here, right next to the brand new 2022 C8R in hypersonic gray. Now, like I said there in the beginning, this is my spec. I actually spec'd out this car for a friend of mine, that's Sue's garage we're standing in. And believe it or not, there's another one just like this sitting in the garage right down below us. So like I showed there in the beginning, there are two here, they're spec exactly the same. And believe it or not, they are my spec. So I actually gave the information over to my friend after he reached out to me after watching some of the videos here. He is a horsepower obsessed fan, of course. And he offered to pay me to go ahead and spec these cars out for him. Now, of course, I didn't take any money from him because I love playing with Corvettes. Now, he actually went to two different dealerships. The first one he placed the order with and they weren't sure that they were even gonna be able to get the car. So he went to another dealership because he really wanted this car. He really wanted to get it ASAP and placed another order at a second dealership. Now the second dealership order came in earlier and then the first dealership called him and said, hey, we have that car here for you. So he ended up getting both of them. Now, as of right now, he is a little unsure as to what he's doing with both of them. He may end up keeping both, but obviously he is a car guy. So I can't fault him for that. And what better car to have two of than a 2022 C8R, right? Right? But guys, the most important thing here is that this is my spec. So like I said, I sent the information over to him and he went ahead and spec the car out accordingly. Now this car had a MSRP of right around $102,000. So this one and the one in the basement, which we're gonna go take a look at here in a second, is exactly the same spec. And what we're gonna do today is talk about the spec and talk about why this is my spec. Now you guys already know, if you're familiar with the channel, that I used to have a C8 Corvette. Mine was a base C8, not a C8R, but at the same time, I have a little bit of experience with the C8 Corvettes and Corvettes in general. So anytime any of you need any kind of help building a C8 or building any of your Corvettes, feel free to email me, feel free to bounce questions off me. This is what I love to do. My passion is cars. And with the Corvettes being as cool as they are right now, I love talking about these things. So anytime you guys have any questions, literally feel free, leave them in the comment section below or shoot me an email. It is horse.power.obsessed at gmail.com. So anyway, guys, we're going to jump into the specs of this car. Let's get right into it. So here it is, guys. This is the actual build sheet of the car. Like I said, this is my spec. 100% I built this particular C8 Corvette. Now, with all that said, it's gonna be a little bit hard to see some of this. So I'll actually take a picture of this and insert it on the screen here so you guys can kind of see as I'm going along. But the total of the car was $102,215. Now, both of these cars are spec exactly the same. They both cost exactly the same. One of these window stickers will literally cover both cars. So some of the options that I spec on this car are as follows. Obviously, it is the championship C8R edition car the Z51 performance package. But the big one for me was the exposed carbon fiber ground effects. Now, this is a dealer installed package. So this stuff obviously gets installed after it comes off the trailer. And of course we have the carbon fiber side skirts down along there and also the carbon fiber front lip, which looks really, really fantastic up against that hypersonic gray. Now, another option that we'll see on that sheet here in a second is of course the carbon fiber radiator grill area here. So as you can see, that matches perfectly with the GM style carbon fiber. So everything looks freaking OEM. Everything looks GM. Now next, we also did the front lift for the $2,260. We need that because as you can tell, this particular person has a Lamborghini Huracan Evo as well as the C8R, but his particular driveway is kind of steep when you come into it. So kind of need the front end lifts. And honestly, I would recommend the front end lift even if you don't have a steep driveway because the amount of times that that thing has saved me is unbelievable in my C8. Next, we have the visible carbon fiber grill that I talked 
touched on earlier. That is the part that is right in front of the radiators. After that, we also did the interior carbon fiber trim. So as you guys know, my C8 Corvette had the same kind of thing. And it's just the extra carbon fiber on the interior. And since we're here with the car, I'm going to show you the carbon fiber on the interior. So we have this right here. And then, of course, around the gauge cluster, right by the mode selector, and over on the driver's side as well. Now, as you can tell, this car is still wrapped up. This guy literally just got the car. He invited me over to go ahead and make a video on it because, like I said, him and I are friends at this point. Now, like I said, he is a viewer of the channel. He asked me for a little bit of my help with specking this car out. And yeah. Moving on on the list, we also have the mirror caps in visible carbon fiber for $1,285. Again, coming over to the car, you can see these are a full replacement cap. So this is not just a stick on part. This literally completely replaces the normal carbon flash color mirror cap. And again, it is 100% OEM GM quality carbon fiber. So that will match this, will match this, and will match that. So it will all be the exact same weave, the exact same color, the exact same quality. Now next, of course, we have the engine appearance package for $9.95. Now again, if you guys are familiar with my channel, you already know what the engine appearance package is. Since again, we're here with the car, I'm gonna pop the trunk and show you. So we have right there, two carbon fiber pieces, which again, are GM quality, are gonna match all the other carbon fiber here as far as the weave is concerned and the color is concerned and the quality is concerned. And then next we have the engine cover in sterling silver. Now again, this is a dealer stalled option, which means it doesn't get installed until after it comes off the trailer, but here it is right here. So it is a silver engine cover that has a little bit of a brushed appearance in the Corvette writing area there. Now this actually goes really well with the gray of the car, which is really awesome because normally I wouldn't get that option from the dealer. I would just get a custom option later, but this goes really nicely and nothing has to be touched. The car is ready to go as soon as it comes off the dealer a lot. And then lastly, we have the battery protection package, which you can actually see laying right there on the floor. This car can be plugged in and stored during the winter time because as you guys know, Pennsylvania in the January month is not great for weather. So this car hasn't really even seen any weather yet. It has been trailered from the dealership back to my friend's house here. And this is where it sits until we can take it over to, you know, it's blackout tanning. It's gonna get a full expel wrap so he can drive the car. Now that's another thing. He actually does drive these cars, believe it or not. He has amazing cars sitting in this garage, but he does drive them. The Huracan over there is already fully protected with expel. The windshield's protected. The inside of the windshield's protected. All the same stuff you see me do, this guy's doing as well because we are all, at the end of the day, crazy lunatic car guys who absolutely love cars and we love to drive them, but you gotta protect them. Now, because this is a C8R edition car, there are some options that come with the C8R package. So without those packages, the car base price would have been $72,850, but because you add in the championship C8R package, which gives you a couple different options, obviously all the sticker packages and everything are added at that point. And the interior comes in a very specific color. The interior is called Sky Cool Gray slash Strike Yellow. Now, I'm not gonna show you the interior here because a lot of it's covered up when we go downstairs and check out the other car i'm going to go over the interior fully for you to see it is really something to behold though guys i am very very impressed with how this car looks in person because initially i wasn't super sold on the c8r because i thought eh, you know it's just a c8 with a sticker package but it actually is a lot more than that in person now one of the biggest options you have with the c8r corvette is hypersonic gray or of course the accelerate yellow now obviously the hypersonic gray gets you the accelerate yellow stripes down the middle here and the yellow brake calipers behind the Trident wheels here. Now, if you wanted to go the other route, you can go accelerate yellow with the hypersonic stripes down the middle instead. So that's one of your main options you have here. Of course, you do not have to select the carbon fiber ground effects on the car at all. If you wanted to just stick with something more basic, you can just have the Z51 lip, no side skirts at all. So don't think you have to select it this way. This is just the spec that I chose for this car and my friend loved it. So obviously he loved it enough to get two. Now, again, for any of you who don't know, the 2022 C8R Corvette is very special because there's only being a thousand of them made, meaning even though it is a sticker package, you only get a thousand of these things. So what that comes down to is kind of a collector's item. Now, I'm not necessarily a giant fan of a collector edition car, but at the same time, this is really, really cool because there's not really an extra cost to it. Really, what you're getting here is easily worth it, not just because there's a couple extra stickers on the car, but because 
because it is unique and it is going to be something you're not gonna see many of on the road. So when you're driving this car down the road, it is very unlikely you're ever gonna see another one of these pass you. And especially not this exact spec. That is really awesome. That's one of the reasons why my friend contacted me and wanted to make this thing just absolutely crazy. And what we really did was I went in there and I checked all of the boxes I would personally check. So if I were to buy this car, this is exactly what mine would look like. 100% down to the wheel center caps being, the, of course, the C8R Jake. And we can't forget the black wheel lug nuts because yes, you guys know I'm a sucker for blacking out the wheels and those chrome lug nuts that come on the car just do not look right. Now, I know I already kind of alluded to it though, guys, but with the C8R, it is more of a sticker package car than anything else. So we get a lot of really cool graphics on the car and it is, of course, more of a collector's edition car. But at the end of the day, there's nothing really different on the engine portion of the car. Everything else still runs and drives exactly the same as your typical C8 Corvette with the Z51 package, of course. And for those of you who don't know what the Z51 package adds, you actually get a little bit additional cooling, the additional aero pieces even without the carbon fiber stuff, and you get bigger rotors and brake calipers, and as well as an adjustable exhaust, which means if you're in touring, it will close some baffles, make that sound a little less loud, and in track or sport, it opens up the baffles so you get the full sound of the big V8 engine. <laughs> All right, guys, we are down in the other garage. We are here with the second C8R. Again, still the same spec. So 100% the same as the one we were just looking at upstairs with the Lamborghini Huracan sitting beside it. Now this one, the interior is all unwrapped on. So like I said, we're gonna take a little bit more of a look on the inside here so you guys can see how interesting this all looks together. Now, obviously both of these cars are three LT cars. So we have the normal Napa leather in here. And of course the carbon fiber goes in here with the, the spec that I chose. But what is really interesting is that I'm not a big fan of white interior. I'm not a big fan of yellow on the interior, but there's something about this that just works so well together. Of course, I think the carbon fiber and the 3LT appointments definitely help, but at the end of the day, we have a three-tone seat, which of course is a GT2 seat, not the competition seats, and it still has the carbon fiber insert here, so everything just looks really supercar. With all that said, of course, we have the black leather, the yellow leather, the white leather, and the yellow stitching on the black leather portion with the yellow seat belts. We have the Alcantara on the steering wheel with, of course, the stitching around the leather airbag because it is the 3LT. We have the yellow center line. We have carbon fiber in the back, the yellow stitching up on the dash, a little bit of the white splash up there on the dash on the passenger side. And it all just really plays well together. I'm very impressed with this because when I first saw this, like I said, I wasn't a fan, but seeing it in person, it really is an interesting design. Coming around onto the passenger side, we have the same thing obviously with the seat, but up on the dash, we have that splash of white that just kind of flows down over the center console there. Now, another thing that's pretty interesting and of course specific to the C8R cars is this speaker plaque that you get right there. Now, what's really cool about these cars and not really necessarily coming through on camera real well is the color. So the hypersonic gray is without a doubt the nicest gray that I have ever seen on a Corvette other than maybe shark gray gives it a run for its money. But my GoPro is not picking it up really very well, so I'm gonna actually film a portion here in a second with my iPhone so you can see what the color really looks like. All right, so here I am with my iPhone. This definitely more accurately represents the color of this car. Like I said, I'm a big fan. I really like the hypersonic gray and it goes really well with the yellow accents on this particular car. The black wheels with the yellow calipers, but I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a better look at what the color really looks like. The hypersonic gray really is an amazing looking color. So here it is guys running <laughs> and yeah, it is super cold here in Pennsylvania, but I had to give you guys an outdoor shot because the car just looks so freaking good. I love it. These headlights, the color, it all just is amplified by this horrible white stuff that we have in PA right now. Yeah, it's a beautiful car. 
All right, guys, so we got a little bit of the car outside. This is actually the one, the second one that's down in the basement garage here because the one that's upstairs is a little more snowed in. So as you guys can see, we have a little bit of bad weather here in Pennsylvania. So these cars aren't gonna be seeing any snow anytime soon. But anyway, guys, that is gonna do it for today's video. So please, if you liked what you saw, smash that thumbs up button. Let me know you're liking the content so I can keep creating this kind of stuff for you guys. Like I said, this spec is 100% mine. I helped out a friend of mine that just so happened to also be a subscriber and this is what he got delivered. So I kind of feel like this is my baby. This is the, the fruit of my loins. I mean, this is basically physical representation of some of the work that I've put in for this channel. A lot of people out there like to bounce ideas off of other Corvette guys. And like I said, guys, I'm here for that. Shoot them in the comment section below or send me an email if you want any assistance like this. But anyway, guys, I wanted to get over here and film this car for you because I really love what this thing represents. It really is the Corvette community coming together and making Making something beautiful. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. So like I said, smash that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. I'm going to have loads of content like this coming. You guys are not going to want to miss. And as always, I will catch you in the next upload.